Welcome to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins. Today I'm going to show you how you can repurpose pastel paper. Yes, there are some papers that you can reuse, erase basically, and start over. So it's a really helpful thing, especially right now we're in the whole midst of the coronavirus. We may be stuck at home in our studios without the ability to get more art supplies. So join me for this lesson where I take this painting. I actually did this for another painting tutorial. I painted this in the dark or almost totally dark, but um, I never finished it and I just kind of wanted to start over. So check out this lesson where I will explain how to do that and also create a painting afterwards. Now, I have this piece of pastel mat that I'm repurposing. I happen to remember this one piece had a little bit of a, um, some kind of defect in it, but I'm going to work around that. But I'm repurposing it. I had another painting. I kind of like the other painting, but you know, sometimes I just kind of want to experiment, practice, or whatever. And it's neat that you can reuse a lot of these papers. So, pastel mat is one of the type of papers that you can repurpose um all i did just so you know it was a piece i may have used all of, it was a piece of that color i believe all i did was i got a a, a bristle brush uh or a brush that was kind of hard it was bigger than this one it was actually one of those round stenciling brushes i took it outside brushed off as much pastel as i could literally put this in the sink and and uh ran water over it and kind of scrubbed it a little, not too hard, with a, a little uh, scrubby, little scrubby sponge that I had. Um, and just so you know, the backs of the pastel matte paper is a little bit like plastic, so it even took the water okay. I had one that tore a little, and it got some of the paper underneath, and then it didn't take the water very well. But if you keep it all intact, it should be really good for washing off. Now, what I'm doing is I literally just did another painting for another for my patrons, another little thing special for them. But sometimes it's good to paint the same thing multiple times, and I thought, you know what? I've got my pastels already laid out here, the colors that I used, so I'm just going to recreate create the painting larger. The one that I did before was only a little five by five. So I'm going to recreate that painting. This is going to be a lot faster because I've already got the pastels out, the reference photo, everything. So I'm going to get to painting. Also, this painting I'm about to do was done kind of in succession to something I'm doing right now in my Patreon group, on my Patreon page. I'm doing 12 days of healing for my patrons. I'm literally giving lessons for 12 days. We're all contributing. Hopefully, anybody who joins in on it, we're doing a painting for 12 days. So if you find yourself stuck at home and you would like something to do for only $5 a month, you can become a patron and of mine and participate in that challenge. That's the link above to do that, and I'll also have a clickable link at the end of this video. All right, enjoy this painting. I am putting it to music and speeding it up a bit, but please relax and enjoy. 